Hi everyone, we're going to put together a quick video on how to use the Apple app, uh, the app for your iPhone or for your iPad or any, any iDevice, uh, Mac PC, or sorry, a Mac computer. So uh, basically we're going to follow the instructions step by step. The first step is to search for the app in the App Store. So you're going to log into uh, the App Store and type in Sunbright and the Sunbright app will come up. It's obviously it's a free download. So we're going to install the app. So the app is, uh, has finished downloading. If you click the app now, you will get you'll get an error message. It will keep loading and loading. Okay. The reason for this is there's another step. You need to enter your uh, you need to enter the IP addresses supplied via the manual into your your static uh, Wi-Fi connection for your for your Sunbright uh, for your Sunbright power supply. So that's pretty simple. You're gonna go to your settings. You're gonna go to your Wi-Fi connections, and it should find the. Actually, you're gonna have to turn it on. So let's turn it on. And we're gonna refresh that. So here we go. This this particular power supply is power supply 003. So we're gonna click that. Once we click it, we've we've connected to the to the network. You need to click the blue arrow to enter in your IP addresses. So click on static, enter in all the IP addresses as per manual. Show these right here. Once you've completed entering in all your IP addresses, go back to DCHP. Make sure they register and back to static. Once you go to static, you'll see that all your IPs. So we're we're now at the point where we've we've set up our IP addresses uh, and we've saved that function. Very important that anytime you want to view your you want to view or edit or do anything in your in your Sunbright app, you need to connect to its network. So again, go to settings, go to Wi-Fi connection, Wi-Fi networks, and find your app. Um, you'll need to connect to it. Okay. As you see here, the Sunbright app has, has a check mark next to it, so where we are, we are connected to the, to the network. So, back to the home screen, back to the app, Sunbright, click. So now we have access to our, uh, to our timer. Uh, obviously, there's nothing set up yet, so we're going to be doing that now. So you got to go to timer list, go to edit, press the plus. Enter in a name. Let's call this one test. Now you're gonna to want to enter in your first setting. The first setting starts at uh, midnight, which is 00 a.m. And here it says it goes to 1 a.m. Obviously, you can change that. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if you can get that. Uh, it's gonna focus. I know this says 1 a.m. So I'm gonna change that and go to 8 a.m. So, midnight to 8 a.m., I want my moon lights to reach right around 1%. So I'll do that by sliding the slider to 2%. The reason for this is once you save and you hit back, you always lose one value. So we try to set it to 2%. It's a little tedious. It's tricky, especially when holding the camera and trying to do it at the same time. So. Here we go. Now we're at two percent, and we're gonna hit dimming. So, from midnight till 8 a.m., I've set up my moonlights to reach uh, two percent at 8 a.m. It doesn't mean that from midnight till 8 a.m. there'll be a two percent. It means that from midnight to 8 a.m. it'll gradually rise uh, to two percent because I've I've selected dimming. So now we're gonna hit the back button. And you're gonna keep adding timers until you reach the 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 specs you want, uh, the sunrise and sunset, and sunset that you want. So I have now set up all my timers. Um, by the way, sorry for the glare. Uh, it's it's an iPad. It's uh, it's got a really reflective screen. Uh, we're not videographers, so unfortunately, nothing uh, I can do about this. So I set up my timers. So from uh, midnight till 8 a.m., I'm dimming, and I'm also dimming here. So, I, so as you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see it. <coughs> the shading actually shows you more or less how. Know how bright things get. 
So what I've done is I've gone from uh, midnight to 8 a.m., 8 to 1 a.m. to 1 p.m., 1 to 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., 9 p.m. to 11, and 11 to 1 till 11:59. So that's a full 24-hour cycle. So basically, uh, what's important to know is that uh, in any timer, uh, you know, say this for example, 8:01 a.m. to 1 p.m. I set it up uh, with these specs. That means that by 1 p.m. it'll it'll reach these specs. It doesn't mean that from 8:01 to 1 p.m. it'll be there. No, it means that by 1 p.m. it'll it'll reach there. So this is why, if you go down here, I have from from one p.m. to 9 p.m. it'll reach here then from 9.01 p.m. to 11 p.m. I'll go down to zero which actually should be one so as I said before you gotta always put it put a one extra number if you want one you gotta put a two etc etc so we go two. once you set up all your timers you need to hit save on top uh, if you still see save here on the top that means you need to hit it again uh, once you once you set up your timers and you and you hit the back button, you'll see a little plus here. If you see a plus and a save, the timers have not been saved, so click save. So once you've done that, you have your default and you have your custom. Uh, right now, this light is running on the on the custom. So if you want to view them or you want to test it, sorry, let's go back. So we're gonna click on the on the timer you set. This one here we call the test. So apply and preview. Once you click preview, you're gonna get this tips coming up and it'll actually show you what your uh, what your full cycle will look like. So let's do that again. So we're gonna apply and I'm gonna hit preview but only once I show you the lights. So here's the light right now. Right now we're on a cycle from, uh, from 1 p.m. till 9. So I'm gonna hit preview and it'll do a complete 24 hour cycle. Not sure if you got that on, on the phone, oh, there it goes. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's tedious to set up, but once you set it up, you, you, know, you basically set it up once and it'll, you know, it'll run forever. Uh, obviously, if you're, if you're acclimating your, your, your corals, well, then you need to set it up multiple times. Um, when I swapped mine, I had a six bulb T5, I swapped it for a, for a Sorry, I had a six bulb tech light I swapped before an F series, and I'm raising uh, I'm raising about 10% every week. Uh, so again, it gets tedious, but I mean, you do it once, you set it up, and you're good. So if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to contact us info at reefsupplies.ca or 1 888 976 reef. 1 888 975 reef, sorry. 975 7333. There's also been some some talk about power outages, and uh, some people are worried that if uh, if a power outage, uh, when the lights come back on, they come back on full blast. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, again, connect to Sunbright. Go to your app. You know your timer's functioning. If you get a power outage and your timer's functioning, your lights will come back uh, to to the regular to the regular setting. So I'm going to simulate a power outage now. Wait a few seconds. Turn it back on, please. So as you can see, the lights came back to the, to the original setting. One more thing. Um, some guys have been have been complaining about this error. Error, no, no device connecting. Uh, this happens when you're not connected to the Sunbright network. So again, you need to go to the Sunbright network, click Sunbright, it'll connect to it. Right there. Okay, so now we're connected to Sunbright. Let's go back to the app, click, and here are your timers.